Finally, he has served as the president of the Franciscan Foundation for the Holy Land for over a quarter of a century. He joins us tonight with highlights of a very special station of the cross from Jerusalem. Now, obviously, due to the pandemic, pilgrims in the Holy Land are scarce. But Father Peter Vasco wanted to take us all on a virtual visit on the Via Dolorosa, where these momentous events of Holy Week first unfolded. Take a look. Every Friday, for centuries, the Franciscan friars have been making the way of the cross, as well as millions of other pilgrims from around the world who have prayed and walked along this route. So let us make this sorrowful journey of Jesus along the Via Dolorosa. The first station, here Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Then Pilate released Barabbas to them, but he had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. O Lord, you know that because of our human weakness, we cannot resist the serious dangers we are exposed to. So give us health of mind and body, so that with your help, we can overcome the temptations we suffer from because of our sins. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The fourth station, here Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This child is destined to cause the fall and rising of many in Israel, and it is to be a sign that will be spoken against so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed. Let us pray. O God, in whose passion, according to the prophecy of Simeon, a sword of sorrow pierced through the soul of Mary, virgin and mother, mercifully grant that we, who call to mind with veneration her sorrows, may obtain the fruit of your passion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The sixth station, here Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Lord, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Without beauty, without majesty, no looks to attract our eyes, a person despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with sufferings a man to make people cover their faces. He was despised, and we took no account of him. Let us pray. O God, to those who go astray, you display the light of your truth that they may return into the way of righteousness. Grant to all who profess themselves Christians will avoid the things which are contrary to that name and to follow those which are pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The tenth station, here Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They took his clothes, dividing them into four shares, one for each of them with the undergarment remaining. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you keep together those you have united. Look kindly on all who follow Jesus, your Son. We are all consecrated to you by our common baptism. Make us one in the fullness of faith and keep us one in the fellowship of love. Through Christ our Lord, amen.
the eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then they offered him wine mixed with mirth, but he did not drink. And then they crucified him. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you appointed your only begotten Son to be Redeemer of the world, and you will to be appeased by his blood. Grant, we beseech you, that we may so venerate the price of our redemption, and by its power be defended from the evils of this present earthly life, that we may enjoy its fruit forever in heaven. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The twelfth station, here Jesus dies on the cross. It was now about the sixth hour, and darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour, for the sun stopped shining, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. Let us pray. We who feed on the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom the banner of the Holy Cross was sanctified. We beseech you, O Lord our God, that since we are able to venerate that same holy sign, it may be ours to enjoy forever the effects of its saving glory. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The 14th station, here Jesus is laid in the tomb. Taking Jesus' body, the two of them wrapped it with the spices in strips of linen. This was in accordance with Jewish burial customs. At the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. Because it was the Jewish day of preparation, and since the tomb was nearby, they placed the body of Jesus there. Let us pray. Send down your abundant blessing, Lord, upon your people who have devotedly recalled the death of your Son in the sure hope of the resurrection. Grant them pardon, bring them comfort, and may their faith grow stronger and their eternal salvation be assured. Through Christ our Lord, amen. You can support the work of Father Peter Vasco at the Franciscan Foundation for the Holy Land by visiting ffhl.org. They do incredible work sustaining the Christian presence in the Holy Land.